Hi everybody, Tammy here from Lou for Fru, and it is time for our very first I Saw It on Pinterest. I hope you'll craft with me. survived another Monday, so it has to be good. Um, this is the first edition of the series that I'm going to do, uh, try to do this year, called I Saw It on Pinterest. Um, so, basically the concept is once a week I'm going to find something that um, I have pinned on Pinterest and do my interpretation of um, the item that I found. I found out when I was looking for uh, what project to do for today that I like everything. So it's going to be really hard for me to narrow down um, each week uh, something to make. I can already tell that. But for today, this is the project that I have picked. And it is a tag. Um, I tried to follow the link to see who actually made this tag. And the person who pinned it on Pinterest, um, there wasn't a link attached to it. But... I don't believe she was the person that made it because there is a signature right down here in the corner. I just can't read it very well. Um, I'm going to uh, show uh, the page of the person who pinned it um, at the end of this video. So you'll be able to go and find it if you want to um, search it better. But I looked and I could not find um, you know, the source link other than her, her uploading it and posting it. This looks like it says somebody Schneider, but I'm, like I said, that's not real clear, um, even on Pinterest. And so I'm not sure, you know, if that's what it really says, but this is what I'm going to try and imitate today. I think it's beautiful and um, we're going to try and see um, what we can come up with. And I am going to make a few alterations because I believe in looking at the picture uh, that this is fabric. And um, I don't really want to work with fabric in this sort of way. And so I'm gonna kinda imitate this in paper. And then these little scrolly things, although I think they're beautiful, I don't know that they're very um, practical for a journal, as well as these flowers. Uh, so I'm gonna do a little bit of a different thing here, and then I'm not gonna do these little swirly things because I feel like in a journal over time, those are just gonna get torn off. So that's where we're gonna start. As far as supplies, I am going to use um, just a heavy stock manila tag. And you can see I've already kind of stamped it with some butterflies to kind of represent this. And I just use stamps that I have on hand. And then I wanted just the indication of leaves there at the top and so I just kind of did a, a rough stamp of some flowers to get those leaves up in there and of course this is open to interpretation and you could do this however you wanted um, and everything that I'm using is stuff that I had here because that's kind of how I want the series to be is I want it to be things that I have and can use up out of my stash instead of you know, go, I don't want to go out and buy anything to, to do these projects. 
Um, for this top piece, I'll just leave this photo over here. I don't know why I keep moving it in and out. For this piece, this I cut out of a Tim Holtz paper pad, and I think it's very similar to um, what they've used here as far as, you know, the three butterflies lined up. And um, so I'm going to use that for that. For my fabric piece, I am also going to use a piece of Tim Holtz paper. And it has uh, this print on one side and it has stripes on the other. Um, my uh, tag is going to be more of the neutral browny, tanny kind of colors. Um, in it than where um, this tag is more focused on the black. Um, mine is going to be more of a tan looking. So this piece will ultimately go here um, and then this will, you know, go on top of it like this. So you're going to need some a, a, something for your tag with a stamp on it and then you're going to need some little scrap cardstock you know, whatever you want your, or fabric, if you want to try it in fabric, you know, whatever you want your front and back to be, because that's going to roll down, so the back will show, and then you're going to need your focal point to put on top, and then I've got my little piece of, um, lace to go underneath, and then, um, I am going to, she, uh, or he, like I said, I, I'm not sure who originated this. Um, this looks like it has a lot of texture. And so I've got some tissue paper. I've got this that has some print on it. Like this. And I think I just got this at, in the gift wrap department somewhere it's but it looks like it has a book print on it and then I also have some plain white um, in case I can't get you know the look that I'm looking for and then I've got some other scraps and then also I brought in a couple of options that I thought about um, that you could variations that you could use I have these printables that are for from Digital Collage Club, which I think you could use any of those as your top focal point, and it would, they would look great. And then this is another piece of paper that I was considering. Um, this is Tim Holtz as well, and it has wood grain on the back, and so I thought rolled down, that would look real interesting. So you have a lot of options. And then I've got an extra piece of paper here um, in case I need to, I'm kind of thinking that I need to, um, you know, put this on something else a little bigger with a little bigger frame so that I can ink around it to make it look more layered. So that's what we're going to do. So let's get started. And um, I've got some flower options and some ribbon options over here as well. Um, to see how that's going to work. Sorry, my necklace is clanking against. Oh, and I've got um, some hemp thread to use. Twine, whatever you want to call it. And I also cut a little bitty tag for this tag right here. And I'll uh, stamp something on it. And actually, I might use one of these that are kind of sitting right here. Those would all, that would also be cute. So we'll see when we get there. So the first thing I want to do for sure is ink this baby up and give it some age. And like I said, it looks like that they have ink theirs maybe in black soot or some kind of black. But I'm not going to go with the black. I'm going to go with the vintage photo on mine. I didn't cut this tag down or anything, even though her, her tag, his tag their tag um, looks more square and I may end up doing that once I get everything laid out um, 
but I didn't want to do that too soon before I knew exactly how it was going to look. So, all right, so we got that piece inked, and let's ink our, oh, what did I do with my little, see, I'm just flinging, flinging things everywhere. I'm going to ink this guy up. And I am going to cut a piece of this paper, which I'm not sure, this is just a piece I had in my scrap, and so I'm not sure um, what paper pad this came out of. Because it's just, I mean, it's a whole piece. It was a, a tablet like this, but I don't, if, you know, with it, without it being in the book, I couldn't tell you who it was. All right, so I want just a little bitty border around that, I think. Maybe maybe a little bigger, maybe about right there, because what I'd like to do is then put a piece of tissue paper on it too. All right, so I'm gonna Get this stuff out of the way. It has been cold as heck here the last couple of days. We are freezing, and I know that a lot of you have a lot colder weather than we do, but we have been so warm, and it turns so cold so quickly that we're all just now freezing. So, but that's how it is in the South. You never know what you're going to get. You could go through three seasons in one day and just never know how to dress. Layers. Layers is the best thing to do here. All right. So, there's that piece. And then I want to take a piece of this and tear it roughly. To go where's my ruler right there right there I bet you're screaming weren't you it's right there it's right in front of you I hope you guys are gonna follow along with me you can just pause the video with the start and get your stuff together I'd love for you to post what you come up come up with. Maybe I'll do a hashtag. That would be a good idea, wouldn't it? And everybody could post their post what they get do. I think I'll do that. I'll post mine on Instagram when I'm done with the hashtag, and then you guys can use that hashtag and post yours. That would be fun to see what everybody's doing. I'm just thinking this up, and I'm going to crumble it up nice and crumbly. Then I'm going to stick this on here. that. I'm use my glue stick. Oh, maybe I want to put it on the right side. And I'm not going to worry about the edges being down because I really don't want them to be. just want to kind of stick it on there. And I kind of want them to be crumply and rolled. Like that. And then I'm going to glue this. Actually, I'm going to use our glitter glue. Yeah, 
Yep. There's definitely a lot of beautiful stuff on Pinterest. And I kept finding all of these things that I just loved. So, I'm looking forward to doing this series. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. It's a great way to make things for future journals as well. Because this could be adapted to this particular method could be adapted to a lot of different things. Um, not just butterflies. I'm going to take just a little bit of this. This is antique linen. And rub over this. Excuse me, I'm getting choked. Rub over these butterflies. Just to kind of age that up just a tad. Okay, so now the next step we want to do is to, <coughs> excuse me, figure out how we want to do this. And see, they've got theirs way up here, and then it's rolling down like this. So first, let's take our distressor thingy. And really chew up the edge of this. If you don't have one of these, the edge of your scissors works just as well. You can do this. Alright, and then I think I'm going to take this plain tissue paper. Do I want the plain or do I want this? I think I'm on the plane. Yeah. And I'm going to tear it. And this is actually Tim Holtz tissue paper. I don't, I don't know if you can get it anymore, but it... I got mine at Tuesday morning, and usually once something goes to Tuesday morning, it's been discontinued, but it comes in a little, you know, like his other papers, and the little rolls or whatever. And I just want this to look kind of tattered. So I'm taking, tearing some chunks out here and there. Come with it. Okay, and then I'm going to put this down on here like so. Actually, I might do it this way. Yep. So I'm going to take the glue stick. Up. And ink 
kit. I'm going to um, do the edges with finished photo. And I'm going to get up on where I tore up. I'm going to make that really exaggerated because, you know, I like my grunge. And then I'm going to take the antique linen and kind of go all over. And what that's going to do is that's going to take that really whiteness out of the paper. I need some more glue down here at the bottom. So it just gives it a nice aged look. Another piece I need to glue down. I'm gonna use our glitter on it so I can get up under there good. All right. So now we need to figure out where to start our roll. Oops, I'm tearing my sponge up on my phone piece there, my phone on my applicator. Okay, so I think we want to start about right there and we want to be able to see little butterflies peeking out. Okay. And I'm going to, first of all, I'm going to have to tear some of that off, I think. Let's kind of give this a good grip. I don't want to rip it too much. So I want to be able to roll it down. So I'm going to start with that. Sorry if I keep reaching across, I'm left-handed, so. Okay, and then I'm going to take, I think, a pencil and roll it. To get that roll. Yep. Now, I'm thinking this tag is pretty fat and it's almost square. So, mine is, mine is gonna be more elongated than this one is because this almost looks, you know, as, as wide this way as it is this way. So, but I'm okay with having, a, having it more elongated than wide. Oh, 
Okay, so we're gonna put this piece on. Like that. Let's so use our glitter glue. I could have sworn that I had some paper to add that on it, which to me looks like kind of like the, um, you know, the little kind of industrial metal, but I could not find it, so I may have used it all. And then we're going to put on our little piece of lace here. And it almost looks like that there's another piece underneath there, like a frame or something like that. But I can't really tell, you can't tell in the picture if that is a frame or if it is part of the paper. What we might do is... I don't really have the kind of room at the bottom of mine, though, if I want to get I could do a label maybe let me grab my labels they're right behind me here And see if we can find something that will work. Just to give it another layer. See, I just barely have room for something. that's there. If I had a long one, I might could turn it, and I could always cut that down a little bit, or round the corners. Do I want to round the corners? No, but I could snip the corner. That would give me just a little bit more room in that corner. I feel like if I round them, they're going to look too finished, if that makes sense. issue that I'm having is is that corner runs right up to where we're folding it down. Could move it over just a little bit more that way. Now let's see. Don't want green. even makes a difference to be honest. Whoops. I'm 
one's not any longer. I like the color of that one better, though, I think. That would look good I, if I did a stamp on it, maybe. Or I could use a ticket. Let's put our ribbon on there and see if it makes. See, she's got hers kind of in the other corner. That's an option. It's kind of in this corner. And it almost needs a thicker border to even matter. Sorry, I'm concentrating. Sometimes, sometimes it hurts. Nope, I don't like that. If I do anything, it's gonna be one of these plain ones. Okay, sorry, that was complete waste of time, wasn't it? Alright, so let's get our ribbon down. And they have just stapled it, so I'm going to do the same with my tiny attacher. I do think I'm going to put that down in the corner just for a little, another just piece of interest, inking it up. Let's lock it in. this piece. Okay, I need to put just a little dab of glue right there I do feel like I left that one in just a little long I'll tear that off just a little bit more I can now. That was easier than I thought. Ink it back up.
roll it back around my pencil. Okay, there's that. And then I pulled out this ribbon that I had and we'll put it in here. I think I'm going to glue once I'm sure that that's how I want it. I'm going to glue down this little edge right here so that it stays better. But I'm going to get everything in place first. Alright, and then I have this little die cut leaf. And then I have these little flowers that are a lot flatter than what they have used. And I also want, where's my little pouch? I want a little piece of cheesecloth or stringy, some kind of stringy something. that to put down in there okay so let me look at my picture here so I'm thinking I want this go down in here somehow. I love this stuff and I, ha I have a love-hate relationship. I love to use it, but I hate that when you're trying to use it and it like sticks all to your fingers. Like that. That drives me crazy. If I didn't have glue all over my fingers, that probably wouldn't happen, but... You know, who doesn't have glue all over their fingers? Alright. So, let's put some glue down. See, this butterfly is not showing enough for me. Oops, I'm tearing, tearing that loose. That's not good. Alright, I'm going to take this down one more time. back there. Let me hold it for a sec. If I'd leave it alone, it'd dry, wouldn't it? Alright, we're going to use this edge for the third time. So the thing about these guys, they're going to be trial and error. Trial and error. Alright, now, art later.
or not art glitter, three in one glue. But you're screaming at me again, weren't you? I actually have some flowers like those that she is showing on there and I kind of got them out but they are just in my opinion way too bulky to try to put those if you're going to use them in a journal. They look really cute though. If you were going to make that a standalone piece or even like a gift gift tag for somebody, they'd be really cute. Okay. Everything's gonna stick to me now. And then... Everything's going to stick to everything. Not cool. Probably could have placed my butterflies a little better than I did. So they'd show more. But we're going to make it work. Somehow. That one little flower is missing the pearl in the middle, so I'm trying to camouflage that a little bit. All right, so. There we go, sticking to my fingers. Okay. Now. Do I want to use this? Or do I want to use this? It's cut out of that same paper. I think I'm going to use this. Lord, I've got tops off my glue everywhere. There we go. This up. And I just cut this, like I said, out of a drop piece out of that same paper that is on the top of here with the stripes on the back. And then I use my little slot punch to punch a hole in the top. 
and I'm going to put the ribbon right through there. And then they've also got, they may have two different tags on there and it looks like they've tied them on with twine, but I'm not gonna worry about doing that. I am gonna put a stamp on this. Probably just like a little, um, paid stamp or a postal stamp or something like that. Some little circle that I have. A nice pretty bow. Okay, let's make our ends pretty. And you can put a little dab of glue on your knot if you want to, and it'll keep it from unraveling. So, there we go. It's not a perfect replica, which that is not what we wanted anyway. But, um, I think that turned out pretty cute. I think it would be really cute with fabric. I just don't have, um, one, I don't have a lot of choices in fabric. But, um, I don't really work with a lot of fabric in my journals at all. So, I thought it would be interesting to try it with paper um to see how it would work and these little like i said i think these little swirly things and and all that kind of stuff is absolutely adorable but then again i don't know you know this is pretty bulky actually for a journal but i think this is a lot more doable in a journal than this is in a journal so i hope you guys enjoyed that and i hope you uh will um enjoy the series as we go along throughout the year and uh like i said i will post this on uh i started to say pinterest on instagram with a hashtag and if you guys make one um use that hashtag and let me see what you guys come up with i'm really curious to see um you know what you do and I, I'm already looking at it and and seeing ways that I could own improve it for the next time but I'm fairly happy with it considering you know I'm just picked out something and and went with it without much much prep so um I hope you enjoy it if you uh have any questions or comments please leave them below and i'll get back to you and i uh, hope you guys have a great rest of the week and my next video will be week number one in the marguerite miller challenge so i hope you join me then bye